My original camera setup was this beam trolley that traveled along an RSJ in my workshop, but I actually have two RSJs in the center of the shop. And I wanted to upgrade to something that would utilize both of them, such as a rolling gantry. The first parts I made were these end pieces that will support an eye beam between them. I originally made these as prototypes to get the layout and measurements correct and to see if the concept would work, so I didn't video making them. The intention was that once I got these right, I would remake them with ply, but they turned out so well it was pointless remaking them. The eye beam was made up of three pieces as you can see in the sketch. The central vertical piece called the web and two upper and lower horizontal pieces called flanges. I started with the flanges which I ripped down to 70mm wide from an old board I had in my timber stack. I first squared up one end and then cut them to length which was 1290mm. I then marked them out for screw holes that would fix these boards to the top and bottom edges of the board that makes up the web. The web piece was also cut from an old board I had and measured 1290mm long and 145mm high. This old screwdriver wasn't much good as a screwdriver because the tip broke off. So I sharpened the point on it and it makes a great awl for marking drilling holes. I drilled clearance holes in the flanges for screws. And then when I had them in place, I used the same drill bit to drill a small mark on the edge of the web and then use that mark to center a pilot drill and drilled pilot holes for the screws. I used a straight edge to keep everything aligned because as you can see here, the web board had a bit of a bow in it, but that wasn't a problem because the upper and lower flanges keep everything straight when the I-beam is assembled. With that flange piece in place, I just repeated the process and installed the other one. With the I-beam complete, I installed one of the end runners ready for a test fit between the two RSJs. The second runner gets installed in situ. How good is that? The next part to make was the beam trolley that would run along the gantry as shown in this SketchUp drawing. The beam trolley was basically a simple construction, but that still didn't stop me making the stupid mistake of cutting one of these on the wrong side of the blade. Oh well, easy fix. That measurement wasn't critical, so I just cut the other boards to match.
These pieces were ripped down to about two millimeters wider than the I-beam and we're going to attach these two boards that would be the sides and the main body of the trolley. This is where two of the pieces go. The inside one rides along the bottom flange of the I-beam and the outside one will have the camera boom arm mounted to it. The boom arm is attached with a single half inch bolt which allows it to swivel 360 degrees. I screwed in place a couple of small brackets against the head of the bolt to stop it from spinning when I tighten up the nylock nut. To install and remove the gantry between the two RSJs and also to remove and replace the beam trolley if ever needed, one of the end runner boards would need to be removed and replaced easily. So instead of just relying on regular screws which could loosen up over time, I decided to go with threaded inserts and 6mm threaded screws. It was pretty tough threading those two centre inserts into this dense hardwood and I ended up rounding out the bit for the Allen key but I just trimmed them down with a hacksaw and they were all good to go. There was no way they were coming back out. The shape of the two end boards was refined by removing any unnecessary bulk. And then everything got a few coats of workshop grey. When the paint had dried it was time to start assembling the pieces and getting everything in place. The beam trolley rides along the top of the I-beam with these old skateboard wheels. They were installed on 8mm diameter bolts with 10mm nuts used as spacers. Now I know a lot of viewers are going to think that this is totally over engineering just for holding an iPhone and I agree but I think it's going to give a lot of stability to the boom arm when it's fully extended and it provides potential for other uses too. This was an upgrade I've wanted to do for a while now and I think it will serve me well for many years. I reused the old boom arm but added a third extension piece to the end and a new camera mount that you can see there on the left.
Well, that upgrade was something that I've been wanting to do for quite a while, so I'm really happy that it's done. The extra reach that I get now uh, is fantastic. I can reach the bandsaw, which is behind you guys. Uh, I've never been able to reach that or get close to that before, but now I can. And I can get different angles on some of the uh, other existing tools. Well, that's it for another project. If you guys want to know what I'm up to in between videos, you can follow me on Instagram. And as I mentioned at the beginning of this video, if you're not subscribed to my channel, I do invite you to do so and make sure you hit that notification bell. But until the next one, you guys all have a great day.